Hello and thanks for watching. I am going to show you today how to make a cute and easy stocking stuffer for the holidays or a item for Christmas holiday boutiques. These are popcorn snowmen using some fuzzy socks and a bag of microwave popcorn. I have three different designs I'm going to show you how to quickly make today. This one with the fuzzy socks are on the top with the ribbon as the scarf. This snowman has the pair of fuzzy socks which look like it has earmuffs on the top of it. And then we also have this third design here which is the hat and then the scarves. So each of these are made simply by inserting the bag of microwave popcorn. You can certainly choose to put a large candy bar in the middle if you want to, but I found it's fun and easy to use a bag of microwave popcorn. The other items that you will need to make these are a pair of fuzzy socks, and you can choose ones that do not have the grippers on the bottom, or you can use the kind that do have the grip on the bottom. This striped sock does have the gripper, and so I put the gripper part in the back of the snowman. So either way, they work just fine. You just want a pair of fuzzy socks. You'll need a bag of microwave popcorn, and you want to keep it in the cellophane wrapper. You'll need two pieces of eight and a half by 11, just plain white paper. I used some ribbon to make the scarf. This is seventh of an eighth inch, and I you need to use the kind that has some silk, silk or satin finish to it so that you could easily tie a knot. You'll need a glue stick. I used a chalk, to pink chalk to make the cheeks on the faces. You'll need some googly eyes, and I simply took an orange piece of paper I cut a small piece out and then I was just cutting little triangles to make the carrot nose for the snowman. And you'll need a black marker, some tape, and some curling ribbon. Those are the items that you'll need. And this is what the finished product looks like with the face and the paper. So basically what I do is I take an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and I wrap it, I wrap the popcorn around it using the flat side kind of as my marker because I want the face to be in the middle. So I fold it around and this becomes kind of like my template as to where I want the face to be. So once I have that, I take two pieces of white paper that way I put them together, that way I feel like the any writing on the outside of the gourmet popcorn will not show through the paper. So I take two pieces of white paper, I've kind of cut it down a little bit, so I measured it with the popcorn inside. You'll see on this one, you can fold it over and you have some extra, so I would cut off the extra so that it wraps perfectly around the bag of popcorn. So I kind of use this as my template, as my guide. What I did, is so I cut this one down to size so that it fits. What I did is I took my glue stick and I glued on two googly eyes and I glued on an orange nose there for the carrot and then I just took my marker and I made a happy face with the marker. I made another kind of face as well, doing the same thing. I took my glue stick, put on the googly eyes, I glue stick for the, the carrot nose, I did my black marker to make the happy face, and then I took my pink chalk, and I just made a circle here, which makes the rosy cheeks. This gave me two different styles, designs for my popcorn snowman. I'm going to tape it in the back here. So I fold it over and 
and I'm going to tape it to the popcorn. If you tape it to the popcorn, then it won't slip out. Tape it to the bag of popcorn. And that gives you your popcorn face. Okay, there's the two different designs. So next what I'm going to do is I'm making this one here. I'm going to take a pair of the fuzzy socks and check. All different kinds of fuzzy socks look different on the inside. This particular one doesn't look very good on the inside, but the striped one does. It really is pretty both on the inside and outside. So depending on what you get, this is what you want to do. If we're going to make a cuff here on the outside, what I'm going to do is put this one and turn it inside out. And then I'm going to put it inside the other sock. So I'm going to go like this and just put it inside the other sock so that when I turn it up at the end it looks really pretty. Turn it up here and it will look nice on the outside. What I try to do is, depending on what kind of sock you have, a solid or if you have a design like I have a pattern here, I like the pattern to be in the middle of the hat. So I stretch out my fuzzy sock and I'm simply going to put it on top of my popcorn bag here. Goes right on top. These are nice and stretchy, fuzzy slippers, slipper socks. And you can play with it and adjust it so that the design here is right in the center of the hat. Okay, and that'll stay on really nicely. Like I said earlier, you can use popcorn, you know, or you can even use a candy bar if you'd like to do use a candy bar but I think the popcorn makes a nice treat as well. And so now I'm just going to make the top here. I'm going to tie a ribbon onto the top. And I selected ribbons based on the colors of socks that I had. So I'm going to use a purple ribbon. It's a nice satin, satin ribbon that makes it really easy to tie. So I'm just going to tie it about halfway up. I'm just going to make a simple knot. Just pull it nice and tight. Just like that. If you want to be fancy, you can cut the end here on a diagonal. Okay, so we have the hat. Cute little snowman hat. And so now we're going to add a scarf like I have here on this guy. So I'm going to take the same ribbon just going to stretch it out. I put it underneath the popcorn and I stretch it out maybe just about three inches or so. Three to four inches on the side here. That's all you need. Make a little scarf. And then you just simply tie a knot on the side. Makes it look like it's a scarf. Okay. So that's design number one for a popcorn, popcorn snowman. And next I'm going to show you how to make this design here, which has the pair of spa socks, fuzzy socks. It has the hat and then it looks like it's wearing a scarf. So I've already created the face using the glue stick for the eyes and the nose and my marking pen along with my uh, chalk, pink chalk, to make the cheeks. So I wait about 10 minutes just to make sure that the glue, the glue stick, 
has sealed the eyes and the nose on there. And then I'm going to take my pair of fuzzy socks. And I am going to start at about the heel, and I'm going to turn the sock in on itself. So I'm going to tuck it in, which is going to make a hat. So I'm just pushing the sock inside of itself. I kind of try to make sure the heel is tucked in as well so that the edge is then even. On this particular sock, because it has a design, I like to make sure that the design is kind of going to be in the center of the hat. So I just slip this on the top of my popcorn snowman. It's nice and stretchy, the sock, so it goes on there easily and you can always fool around with it a little bit, making sure it's nice and even all the way around and then I'm going to put a ribbon here at the top. I chose ribbons that matched my socks so this particular one I'm going to use the black ribbon. It's seventh of an eighth inch and it has some satin, satin in there. So I take, you're just going to make a little knot so I just take a little piece here. And I start underneath the sock, about in the middle or so, and I'm just going to make a knot, pulling it nice and tight so you get that look like it's a little beanie ball at the top here, and just make a knot. Okay, so we got the hat. And now to make the scarf at the bottom, I take the other sock and I fold it in half as best you can. You may have to tuck in the heel a set another time too, maybe tuck the heel in a little bit more. And then you turn it around so the nice side is showing. And I start in the middle, I'm going to just wrap it around the bottom of my popcorn snowman flip him over here and what I do is I take the closed part of the sock, the toe, and I put it inside, I shove it inside the opening of the sock. These fuzzy socks are nice and stretchy so you can really push it all the way in there. And then to make sure that that's going to stay, what I do is I take a little bit of a curling ribbon any color will work. This is actually going to be hidden. So I just take a little bit of a curling ribbon, any type of ribbon, small like this, any color, it doesn't matter. So I kind of put it toward the, the middle here so I know for sure I put it under the sock so that I know for sure it's going to get both parts of the sock, the outside and the part that's tucked in. And I simply make a knot. This is going to hold it in place. So I make a nice little knot right here, and this is going to be hidden in just a second, so any color will work. And then I kind of snip off the ends to make it really short. And then what I do is I take the end of the sock here and I flip it over on both sides so that this little piece of ribbon is hidden inside there, and I know it's going to stay, that my sock will stay around the outside of my popcorn. Okay, and that's how you do design the second design. So next I'm going to show you how to make this design in the popcorn snowman treat. It's a hat, which is a pair of socks, a hat, the fuzzy socks, and um, the earmuffs. So I got my face all done, and so now I'm going to go ahead and do the earmuff part first, and then we'll do the hat and then the scarf last. So I took a pair of my fuzzy socks. You can also use fuzzy socks that have grippers. This particular one is striped. This has the grip on the bottom of the sock, so either style works just fine. Just make sure the grip is on the back. 
and the grip part here on this sock is kind of tucked in toward the ear area. This particular pair does not have the grippers on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the ear muffs. So what I'm going to do is take a sock and I'm going to fold it in half. Just like this. And then I'm going to place it the nice side up over the top of my snowman. You may have to tuck the heel in a little bit. And you just place it over the top. Just like that, so it comes down over the side of your popcorn. Okay, you just kind of grab it and hold it there. And so what I'm going to do with this sock is I'm going to go ahead and make the hat. And so what I'm going to do at about the heel part, I'm just going to fold it in on itself. You've seen me do this before in the other designs. I fold it in on itself and getting the heel inside there too. So with this design, again, I'm going to try and make sure that the snowflake is right in the front and the center. So I just push it up and inside of itself. If you have a solid sock, that won't really matter. The stripes, it doesn't really matter as well. But with this particular one, I like the snowflake to show in the front. So what I'm going to do while my daughter is holding it, I'm going to stretch it pretty wide, and I'm just going to put it over the top. of the other sock. Okay, thanks. And because they're stretchy, you can really just push it on there, fool around with it for a little bit. So it makes it look like it's got the earmuffs on the side. And then I'm going to put a curling ribbon at the top. So I chose a pink that will go, will match with this. Just take a little piece of the curling ribbon. I tuck it underneath the top of the hat here. And I'm just going to make a knot. Pull it nice and tight so it makes like a little beanie up there, a little ball on top of the hat. Just make a knot. And then we'll curl the ribbon. cute up there. Like that. And then I'm going to add a scarf. I like to use black because it really pulls out the color from the eyes and the smile. So I take a ribbon. This is a silky ribbon, 7 8 of an inch. And I kind of measure about three or four inches off the side of the bag. I tuck the ribbon under the bag and then about three inches or so is good. You're just going to tie it in a knot, make it look like it's a scarf. So I just pull it over to the side and I tie a knot. On the side, making it look like it's a scarf. That's it. That's for that design. So I showed you today how to make the popcorn snowman using microwave popcorn and fuzzy socks. They're easy, they're simple to make, perfect for stocking stuffers, teacher's gifts, or if you want to sell them at like a Christmas holiday boutique. Thank you so much for watching.